Mark from my Marks Tech, and today I want to talk about why I think it would have been incredibly stupid for Apple to make the MacBook Pro 2016 a touchscreen. Now, it is very easy to make a touchscreen computer. In fact, one of the one of the lead designers I think at uh, at Apple actually did make a prototype working touchscreen MacBook Pro. But they said that it felt strange using it after a while, and I agree. Honestly, for you guys out there who has a, who has a touchscreen laptop, how often do you really use it? I mean, really. I mean, you know, don't brag about it. Don't say you use it like all the time when you really only use it like once a week. How often do you really use a touchscreen laptop? Okay, because I personally think that it would be kind of pointless to use a, a, a 90 degree angle as a pointer device. I mean, I understand like if you had a an, an iPad, right? Or like any other tablet, because you're holding them in your hand, you know, you're, you're, you're using it and you're using them in a downward hand position. You're not using the iPad like this, right? You're not holding out, you're not walking around with the iPad in front of you doing this, you know, you're usually using it down. You're holding it down. That's the most natural way to use a touchscreen. But on a laptop, I just think that why? <laughs> like really? Why? I mean, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Why use a touchscreen on a 90 degree screen? I understand on the Surface Studio. The Surface Studio, damn, Microsoft, good job on that product. It, 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 wow, you amaze me with that product. It can transform into pretty much like an iMac into a desktop computer and then bam, put it down and now it's a tablet. In which case, yeah. The touch screen makes perfect sense. That's actually a really, really amazing concept. I mean, Apple kind of, Apple's the new Microsoft and Microsoft is the new Apple in regards to that product. I mean, that, that just seemed like something Apple would do. So good job for them on doing that. But to make, I mean, look at any touch screen videos of a, 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 a laptop. Whenever they touch the screen, the entire screen's like, just shaking and wobbling and then you see fingerprints all over the screen. I mean, damn, I don't I don't mind having fingerprints. I don't mind having fingerprints on this, right? Because it's a small screen, I only use it for, you know, calling, texting, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. But to have my fingerprints all over a beautiful um, 15 inch display, and some of those computers have a 4K display. So to have my fingerprints all over a 4K display, that, I mean, I, that kind of degrades the quality of the display. It's the same thing as having your fingerprints all over the camera. And then try and take a picture, see how crappy that comes out. Because you're degrading quality. You're putting your fingerprints over something that is supposed to be really clear for you to see and enjoy um but on the ipad whenever you're watching a movie or something you can still see the fingerprints you have to clean it off all the time and then you can see the movie clearly now imagine that but on a laptop i mean i don't really feel like cleaning off my laptop all the time so what, what i'm trying to get to is is that not many people use touchscreen as much as they think they would for example i don't use the touch bar as much as i think i would i only use it for the essentials like literally the essentials the screen brightness the uh the volume some the occasionally siri and obviously the, the the touch id that's the only thing i use it for honestly i mean so what i'm trying to say is is that no touchscreen on a macbook would be incredibly stupid a touchscreen on any laptop in my opinion don't you know don't kill me leave touchscreen for the ipad for the tablets for the iphones leave touchscreen on that because i don't really think that many people watch like two hour premium long movies on this screen this big i just don't think they do and if if they do this is how easy it is to wipe the screen well, not, not with my hand obviously but you know get a shirt wipe it off done in three seconds Try that with a 15 inch screen. Try it, you won't do it. So, to a, for, for my rant to be almost over, I wanna show you guys every, almost every single gesture you can do with a touch screen, you can do on the trackpad. And now that it's twice as big, it'll be twice as easy. Okay, and the trackpad is right there where you need it. It's not up there somewhere in the sky, you know? It's not behind the screen, okay? It's right where your fingers are. It's right where literally the entire computer interaction is held right here, not on the, not on the touch screen. No, 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 it's on the bottom. And I'll show you guys what this trackpad can do because most of these, you know, people who have Mac, uh, who has MacBooks, they don't even know half these gestures. And that's incredibly sad because, oh my God, what are you doing? So you guys are about to find out the magic. 
Okay, guys, this is the best angle I can do, okay, because I can't, I'm literally running out of table over here, so bear with me. To, op to see how many stuff you have opened up, now let me actually open up a few things. All right, we have this open, we have, let, let's get some mail open. All right, take your four fingers, right, this is a big trackpad, don't worry, it'll fit. Take your four fingers, swipe up, bam. It'll give you all the icons that you have open at the same time. You can click this one, choose your music from Spotify, go back to the web, go on Facebook. While that's loading, check out your mail. Go, look at that, Facebook's done loading. Open up a new tab and go on YouTube. Bam, that's done loading. Go back on this, go back on this. Why the hell do you need touchscreen, guys? This is literally faster than touchscreen, okay? This is a very weird angle. Anyway, another gesture, four fingers left and right. Boom, external display. Boom, go back to this display. Boom, let's say let's say I want I want Photoshop to be open only on this display, right? It's opening up right now. So it's open. Go back to this one. It has the original three displays on it. Go back here, Photoshop. Go back here. You get my drift? Now, to get to all your applications that you downloaded, take four fingers and bring them in. Bam, all your apps that you downloaded. Uh, same thing, you can either click anywhere in between the apps to go out, or, or just, uh, do the opposite, swipe out. Boom. Okay? Again, faster than touch screen. Now, uh, I know for a fact on Windows 10, you can swipe the screen from the side and open up, like, the notification center type of thing. Well, guess what? Here, you do the same thing, except on the trackpad. Bam! Notification center popped up. Put it back. Bam! It popped up again. I can... Post to Facebook, post to Twitter, uh, iMessage people. I mean, you can literally do anything from the trackpad. Anything. So, anything you can do on touchscreen, you can do on the trackpad. So, why would you have a touchscreen over here when your hands are over here most of the time? I mean, not, not most of the time, 100% of the time. So, use the trackpad. It's good. Trust me. Let's see, what, am I, what else am I missing? Oh, okay. For copy and paste, you know how uh, on Windows 10 and all that, you can, you know, hold the screen, drag it, copy and paste? How inaccurate is that? I'm wondering. I never tried it, but I can assume that it's pretty inaccurate. You know what is a little more accurate? And by a little, I mean a lot. Take three fingers, right, three fingers, and then you copy and paste with three fingers. I'm going to bring you guys closer so you can see the magic I'm doing here. Okay, let's say I want to I want to copy and paste this. Oh, wait, no. Let's do this one. This is easy. Let me Whoops. Let me move the camera. You guys didn't see that. Three fingers on the trackpad, hold it down, and then bam, look at that. <gasps> you guys seen that? You guys seen that? Let me let me do <gasps> What? Can I do it from the middle? Oh, no. Well, actually, yeah, you can do it from the middle. It'll just take the link. That's awesome. I never even knew that. What? Okay, that's actually pretty pretty cool. I just figured this out like right now. So if you hold your three fingers down on a link and you drag it, it'll actually drag that link to wherever you want. I'm dragging it on the on the top and it'll actually play that link. Hey, what's up everything Apple Pro? So what? So as you guys see, there really is no reason to make a touchscreen MacBook yet. Uh, for that to happen, they have to change the entire OS. Compare Windows 7 to Windows 10. Imagine using touchscreen on Windows 7, right? As of now, as of the way the amazing trackpad, which is now bigger, so you can actually do all those click and drag and, and resizing and everything, you can do it on a huge surface and you can do it better, I think, than a, than a touchscreen. Let me know if you guys actually use your touchscreen a lot. What do you use it for? Um, and what does a touchscreen do that a trackpad can't? And don't even bring up art. I don't care about art. I don't draw on my computer. I just don't do it. I'm not a graphic designer. Catch you guys later.